Pam pam. Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Dennis and as you probably know I'm the airline pilot. Today I'm going to review this wonderful Randolph uh, Aviator military aviator sunglasses that uh, came to me just recently it's a new model 2021 new release and i like them a lot however on a picture i saw them and i thought that they will fit my face however then they arrived it's like that <laughs> so they i think they really don't fit to my face probably uh, tell me in the comment section if they are okay why I ordered them because uh, it's not the dream glasses that I would like to have because I have the Ray-Ban I'm gonna show you right here I thought that Ray-Ban is wonderful uh, however I think these Randall sunglasses are much better in quality because here you can see uh, temples are <laughs> flexing here everything is done very nicely i think the quality of build uh, of this randolph side glasses is a little bit better compared to ray-ban glasses however i like ray-ban glasses and i think they fit me well on my face uh, because my face is just a little bit wide and this size is the largest possible as well as for these um, what i like in these sunglasses they made specially made for aviators the temple tips they are not actually curved as you may find on ray-ban sunglasses so then you use the headset it may put your ear down to the temple tip and you will feel uncomfortable here you will not have this so you don't have this temple tips curved temple tips and let's try the metal test ah. <laughs> They fall, they fall because they don't have these curved tips. What about the Ray-Ban? Yes, they are fixed, more fixed on the face. That is why probably I like this more, these curved temple tips, because uh, these sunglasses, they clearly pass this metal test, heavy metal. <laughs> and I would like to have like this probably more compared to Randall sunglasses uh, because yeah it's more uncomfortable than you use the headset but my headset here is very very small so it doesn't push on the ear uh, to the skull what I also like about the Randolph sunglasses uh, the build quality I say to you my friends the build quality is superb much better compared to Ray-Ban maybe Ray-Ban they try to reduce the weight of the sunglasses because the less weight you have in the sunglasses the more comfortable it is to wear them however these uh, nose pads here are larger compared to Ray-Ban that's why it's also comfortable to wear these sunglasses with, with a more heavier weight uh, the bar the swear bar is more rigid more robust here uh, the frame eyewear is also more robust and I would say the glass itself is a little bit wider compared to rain bands and glasses so I like those some glasses even though if I do not shake <laughs> my head violently they will still be on my head comfortably so probably I will use those sunglasses for my daily flight however I would still use the rain band as well because I like these sunglasses and I can see that they cover more uh, space on my face and if you wonder what sunglasses would you choose for flying or for your daily life you wonder about this shape you wonder about this shape uh, I would recommend this kind of shape a little bit more because it mainly fits to every face to every face here I saw in the picture and uh, yeah they arrived so tell me my friends I say again in the comment section whether you like these sunglasses or not they're just a little bit smaller compared to the rain bane sunglasses but still very very uh, nice build I really like the build quality of Reynolds sunglasses the new model is superb and I will tell you my advice about these sunglasses. Uh, so I put aside the rain band for some of the flights and I'll use the Reynolds sunglasses, the military sunglasses, and I really feel the build quality. They're a little bit darker, 
compared to Ray-Ban. What I like in my Ray-Bans is the gradient shadowing. So at the bottom I can clearly see all the instruments without any shadowing. On the top uh, it's shadowed as well as these sunglasses. However, my friends, there's one biggest disadvantage of the Ray-Ban glasses. Here you can have lots of fakes. So even I'm not sure if it's uh, not fake, if it's uh, original Ray-Ban or not, I just wonder, still wonder if it's original or not, because the price for this and for this is most, mostly the same, but yeah, here you can buy the fake, so go to just certified shops, and there in some of the countries, in Ukraine actually, I'm not sure if I if I'm buying the original Ray-Ban sunglasses, from, even from official shop, I'm honestly I'm not sure. These sunglasses came to me directly from the United States via DHL and I'm sure that they are original and well made. So I will use that is why I ordered them. It's not the advertisement my friends, I just share with you my experience because I like uh, my eyes to be protected while flying. Also I use these sunglasses not for flying but for cycling and I know they do not fit me well but let me show you why you shouldn't use specifically this kind of sunglasses, the polarized sunglasses on the modern airplanes. Here's the instrument panel of Boeing 737NG. We have primary flight display and navigation display. So if I put my polarized sunglasses here, if I bang a little bit, you see that you won't see anything. So it's strictly forbidden to use these polarized sunglasses on modern day airplanes because you see what is actually happening so I would not rec not recommend but it's forbidden actually to use because you won't see a thing if you just put your head aside or if the airplane is going to the bank and you will maintain your head standstill you won't see a thing here we go with the ray band. You see, nothing is happening because it's the glass, not not polarized glass, my friends. And finally, test for Randolph. They are good as well, my friends. Tell me in the comment section what sunglasses do you use? And thank you very much for watching this video. Like it if you like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell, whatever it means. Thank you very much for watching this video, and. Pum pum.